Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, three taps P, Q and R can fill a tank in 12, 15 and 20 hours respectively. If P is open all the time and Q and R are open for one hour each alternatively, find the time taken for tank to be full. So what is the given question? The tap P is filling the tank filling the tank in 12 hours and Q is filling the tank in 15 hours and R is filling the tank in 20 hours and P is open all the time then Q and, op Q and R are open for 1 hour each alternatively so P plus Q will be working for 1 hour first hour and then Q plus uh, P plus R will be working. P is open all the time. So P plus R will be working for the next hour and so on. Then again P plus Q, then again P plus R. Like that it goes on. So it's an interesting question. The Q and R are opened alternatively and P is open all the time. So how much time will be taken for the tank to be full? So as I told, the P plus R, the P plus Q will be working for the first hour and P plus R will be working for the second hour. Likewise, it continues. So, you have to find out how much time is taken or how much part of the tank is filled by P plus Q in one hour and how much part of the tank is filled by P plus R in one hour. Then only you will be able to proceed. So, P plus Q, how much part will be filled? 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15. So, 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 part of the tank will be filled in one hour. So, 60 is the LCM. So, 5 plus 4. So, 9 by 60 which gives you 3 by 20. So, 3 by 20 part will be filled by P plus Q in 1 hour. Then what about P plus R? So, P plus R will be taking 1 by 12 plus 1 by 20. We will be filling 1 by 12 plus 1 by 20 part in 1 hour. So, the LCM of 12 and 20. What is the LCM of 12 and 20? It is again 60. So, 5 plus 3 which gives you 8 by 60. So, if you are uh, dividing by 4 means what will be getting? 2 by 15. 4 into 2 is equal to 8 and 15 fours are 60. So, 2 by 15 part will be filled by P plus R in 1 hour. So, first 2 hours if you are seeing what will happen? In 2 hours, not first 2 hours. In every 2 hours how much part will be filled? 3 by 20 plus 2 by 15 part will be filled. So, again 60 is the LCM. So, 20 into 3. So, 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 15 into 4. So, 2 into 4 is equal to 18. So, 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. So, 17 by 60 part will be filled in 2 hours. Now, you have to find out how much time will be taken for the tank to be full. So, 17 by 60. So, let us uh, this you can do by trial and error method. Suppose 3 uh, times means 17 by 6, 17 3 is a 51. So, 17 4 means it will be exceeding 60. So, it will be more than 60 by 60. So, 4 won't come. So, in 3 hours, how much? 3 hours means what is the meaning? 3 into 2, 6 hours. This, this much part is getting filled in 2 hours. So, we are multiplying this by 3. Trial and error method. 17 into 4 if you are taking means it will be exceeding 1. So, that, that won't come. It won't take 4 hours. So, it will be taking somewhere between 3 hours and 4 hours. That's what you have to find out. So, for that in 6 hours. 2 into 3. So, 17 3. So, into 3. So, in 6 hours 17 by 60 into 3 part will be filled which is equal to 51 by 60 part will be filled in 6 hours. Then after that how much part is remaining? So, 51 by 60 part is filled means 3 by 20 part is remaining. 1 minus 51 by 60 which gives you 60 minus 51 by 60 which is 9 by 60. So, that is 3 by 20 part will be remaining. So, in 6 hours 51 by 60 part will be uh, filled. Then 3 by 20 part is remaining. Then which pipe is going to be opened? Q will be opened. Q will be opened. So, P plus Q will be working together. So, when P plus Q are working together, they will be filling 3 by 20 part in 1 hour. So, 1 more hour will be taken. So, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 hours will be the total time taken for the tank to be full. So, in order to solve this, it is a tricky part. 
in two hours 17 by 60 part will be filled so by trial and error method you found out into 3 if you are multiplying by 3 means it will be less than 1 if you are multiplying by 4 means it becomes greater than 1 so uh, total 4 into 2 8 hours it will not be taking so it will be taking somewhere between 6 hours and 8 hours somewhere between 6 hours and 8 hours it will be taking so in 6 hours how much part will be filled 17 by 60 into 3 so in 6 hours 51 by 60 part will be filled then 3 by 20 part is remaining after that p plus q is going to operate so p plus q will be filling 3 by 20 part in 1 hour so one more hour it will be taking so 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 hours is the total time for the tank to be full now question number 2 an empty tank can be filled by pipe a in 4 hours and pipe b in 6 hours if the two pipes are opened for one hour each alternatively with first opening pipe A, find time for tank to be filled in. So pipe A is taking four hours in order to fill the tank and pipe B is taking six hours to fill the tank. Then the two pipes are opened for one hour each alternatively and pipe A is opened first. So pipe A will be working for one hour then pipe B will be working, again pipe A will be working, then pipe B will be working and so on. Alternatively pipes A and B are open, then how much time will be taken in order to fill the tank. So how much part will be filled by pipe A in 1 hour? In 1 hour it will be filling 1 by 4 part and pipe B will be filling 1 by 6 part in 1 hour. So totally in 2 hours how much part will be filled? In 2 hours. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 part will be filled by A and B. So 12 is the LCM. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So 5 by 12 part will be filled in 2 hours. So again by trial and error method 5 into 3 means 15 will come. So which becomes greater than 1. So 2 hours. So somewhere between 2 hours 2 into 2. So here into 2 you are doing. So here also into 2. So 4 hours. In 4 hours the two pipes A and B will be filling 10 by 12 part. So it will be taking somewhere between 4 hours and 6 hours. That is the total time taken. So that you have to find out. So in 4 hours 10 by 12 part will be filled. So again the remaining is 2 by 12 part which is equal to 1 by 6 part. So 1 by 6 part is remaining. When 1 by 6 part is remaining which pipe is going to open? Pipe A is going to be opened. So pipe A is Pipe A will be fill, will be taking 1 hour to fill 1 by 4 part. In order to fill 1 by 4 part, pipe A will be taking 1 hour. So here only 1 by 6 part is to be filled. So how much time it will be taking? What is the time taken? That is the question. So it will be equal to 1 by 6 divided by 1 by 4 which gives us 1 by 6 into 4. 1 by 6 divided by 1 by 4 which gives us 1 by 6 into 4 that is 2 by 3 hours. So 2 by 3 hours will be taken by the pipe A to work alone. Uh, sorry, type uh, will be taken by uh, pipe A in order to fill this remaining 1 by 6 part. So what is the total time taken? So total time will be equal to 4 plus 2 by 3. The total time taken will be equal to 4 2 by 3 hours when, when writing as a mixed fraction. So this also you have to do it carefully. That means A is working for 1 hour then B is working. So in total 2 hours how much part of the time will be filled? Then what is the remaining part? Uh, so in 2 hours 5 by 12 part is filled. Now you have to take a whole number. 5 into 3 if you are taking means it becomes less uh, greater than 1. So you cannot take the so 5 into 2 if you are taking 10 by 12. It is less than 1. So in 4 hours 10 by 12 part will be filled. So you understood that the two pipes will be taking or the total time taken for the tank to be full is somewhere between 4 hours and 6 hours. So what is the remaining part? 2 by 12 part is remaining or 1 by 6 part is remaining. So next pipe P is opened. So pipe P how much time it will be taking for filling the 1 by 6 part. So once you practice these questions, you will be able to do any kind of questions from this topic. Thank you for watching.